Hey guys, welcome back to Fishing Bank C. We are, uh, we've got some DLC installed and we got a bunch of nets in the water right now, so we're gonna try to catch a bunch of crab. I mean, catch a bunch of fish, make a bunch of money, and then do some crab fishing. Hopefully. Uh, if we get to all that tonight. I don't know that we will, but we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, I'm gonna steam back to port here, and we're gonna let these soak until they turn green, which is about another couple of hours, I guess. Uh, I, I don't remember exactly the time on it, but it's soon, so, uh, hopefully soon anyway. Oh, we're running over the net. That's never good. All right, cool. So let's just get out of here away from this, and then we're going to go to... Uh, what's the map? I can't remember how to get to the map. Where's the map on this thing? Uh, map? Yeah, M. There we go. Uh, so let's set a waypoint to here, and then to there. Then fast travel. We may be going right back out. Those have 11 hours on them. That was about three hours into port. We're gonna go Welcome into hey, gang. Uh, Hammerfest here and go ahead and uh, skip time for a bit. What's up, John Sweet? How's it going, man? Thank you for the resub for 10 months in a row. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. All the support. Throw some hearts in chat for John Sweet and his resub. Appreciate you, man. Uh, guys, remember, if you're watching this on YouTube, this was live streamed over on Twitch, so you can come check the action out here live. Uh, look for notifications and such. And catch us here live during the week. Alright, so let's just slide in here. And we'll dock up. Throw some lines at us. Pull us in. Yeah, what is this? Town. Crew house. Okay. What are the, what, what's the thing for? I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. That's fine. We're just going to skip time. By the way, I renamed the boat. It's the SS Outhouse. That's the thing. All right. Well, uh, let's skip time somehow. Skip time. Uh, I want to skip three hours. Skip four hours. Let's see what it looks like now. Are we skipping? Can I not go into the map while I'm here? Map. There we go. Alright, so now they're orange. And these are still in the red. So let's go another... Uh, let's go another four hours. Skip. Okay. Now go back to map. There's a, there's a lot of little buttons. I can't remember. Blue. Perfect. Alright, they're perfect. Now let's uh, let's get out of here. Go fish. Uh, you have a done. You don't have any damaged nets. You still want to export. You don't have it. Yes, I know I don't have any. Thank you. They're all in the water. So something else about this game, man. The port's full alive because there are boats moving around, right? So there's a boat over there in the distance. There's one over here in the distance. Like it feels alive in the port. It's actually pretty nice. Using the shoe, yeah. Yeah, it does look like a shoe, doesn't it? <laughs> Uh, this was the last one I bought, I do believe, and uh, I've got a bunch of upgrades on this thing. Close enough. Fast travel. Sweet. I was hoping it wouldn't be that far back out here. Alright, now let's pick up our gear. Uh, which I think is going to mean we need to get our crew members ready. Let's go to the crew here. Uh, net hauling. Who's good at what? Hang on a second. Stop. Boat. Uh, net hauling. You're okay at net hauling. And you're okay at net hauling, but you're better at gutting. Hmm. Well, I got one person that's good at net hauling. Okay, so we'll definitely put them here. Uh. Well, this is not going to turn out well. I guess it's gonna have to be this guy, and then we'll put. How are you on gutting? Machine gutting, not great. Machine gutting, good. Okay, so machine gut, and then uh, we need a fifth crew member. Is what we need. We need somebody st uh, freezing and then stacking. But for now, we'll do this, and then let this get full, and then we'll move somebody over to stacking and freezing and all that kind of stuff. Full reverse. We're about to run over the buoy. I think we ran over... Oh, we didn't. Okay, good. 
Well, this little thing gets moving, man. It gets going. You be careful on your speed with this deal. All right, I do remember we need to stay straight with this thing. Do we have to do anything specific? Nope, nothing specific. We just need to stay straight, I think. If we can get straight with these other ones, we're in good shape because I dropped these in the lines. Uh, it looks like it, yeah. Okay, so not a bad haul. Not a bad haul at all. They're going to start gutting fish. We're going to creep up to this next one here. Oh, they are really blowing through them too. Look at that. Dang, that's kind of selfish. All right, everything's frozen. Everybody's good. So let's put them all over here. Let them rest for a minute. And then, uh, cooking one meals per hour. Okay. Well, she's going to have to cook up some more meals. Will he take that? Yeah. He just don't want food, apparently. What about you? Will you eat it? No? Nobody's eating it. What is this, anyways? Nobody want lettuce? I just throw it out. Nobody's going to eat it. Oh, there we go. Ate it that time. Weird. Not sure what was going on before. Alright, let's start a jog over to our next part here. We're going to throw a uh, waypoint down. Kind of in this direction. That's a new follower. There we go. This game, we're thinking for the follow. Much appreciated. So, if you bring in fresh fish, does it does it pay better? I've never asked. I like, guess we could just gut and stack. Um, bring in fresh fish. We might do that with the last set here. Or is it better if you, uh, is it better if you just, uh, freeze and stack? I don't know. I know they last longer if you freeze them, but this is our last one. And if we leave this one unfrozen, see if we get paid better for it, maybe. These were the 75 meter nets. Those are our shortest ones, or this one was anyway. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Uh, no, that was a 120 meter net. Uh, so... It does look like um, that I was going to let him just stack them, right? Fresh fish. Yeah, we'll just do fresh fish on this last one. See how much money we make off of uh, stacked fish gutted. So, like, right now, I can go ahead and dock up. Right here, you see? Dock at Hammerfest. Uh, but I want to try to get closer so the rope doesn't. Uh, the line doesn't pull me into the dock because that's always bad. Oh, undiscovered water looks like a sewage. It does, yeah. I'll try to get closer so that way it doesn't jerk me into it. I've had that happen before. I'm a little small boat that you start out with. Uh, I came in, hit dock, and it like jerked me over. Jerked me over into the dock, which is not what you want to do. That should be close enough. Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh... Okay, so the cod's gonna sell somewhere between ninety-three thousand and five hundred thousand kroner, I guess. Is it krone or kroner? I think it's krone. Uh, Haddock's gonna sell for a decent price. The pollock's gonna sell for a really nice price, and the redfish's gonna sell okay. Five hundred and ninety-six thousand nine hundred forty-seven. Yeah, uh, purchase boat. Um, is there, is there like a, what is this thing? What is that? You can't do anything in that. <laughs> I guess that's when you're pulling line. Uh, this is the one you start out with. You guys have never seen that. Um, oh, there we go. That's the big boy I want. That's the crab, that's the crab bo uh, boat right there, I'm pretty sure. Uh, crab pot. Yep. Max crab pots is 54. Okay. Is there a smaller one that's got crab? Nets. Uh, trawler. Oh, that's the big boy. That's the big one. 
Oh, the Hermes is the, uh, is the trawler as well. I think the Lunar Bow is the big boy, though. Alright, it's the Moby. No, that's Nets. We're on the Snarset. I think. No, we're not on the Snarset. This little bitty dude. Nets. Uh, Svalbard, I guess, is the one we want. How much is it? What does it say? It's four million. We're gonna be doing a lot more fishing. Yeesh. Like the handwritten log? Yeah, man. Like I said, they put a lot of they put a lot of effort into this, man. It's really nice, actually. Four million for that thing. Can I set this thing to crab? No. Fix. <laughs> Available for purchase. How much is this thing? This thing's eight hundred and ninety-five thousand? Good god. That's a lot for this little bitty dinghy. Uh the sharky. Yeah, all these are lines. The selfie. Crab pots. Cool. And this one's only 450,000, so we can start out small uh, on the crab boat. It only holds eight crab pots, but it's only 450,000. Let's buy it just so we can do some crab fishing. Let's go to the dock and upgrades. Uh, we can buy a few of these upgrades. We've got the money. Uh, I do want to go with a bigger engine right off the bat. It helps us go faster, which is a good thing. Let's see. Sonar, radar, gutting table, equipped, standard fishing quota. We could upgrade the fishing quota for 300 grand. That's a lot. Net ha pot hauler. So we got to buy the pot hauler. Yes. Okay. And then searchlights are fine. Actually, let's go ahead and put the big one on there. And then we could upgrade the quota, but we really, I really want to go out first and see how much it's going to take to fill the boat up. Radar upgrade two. Let's go ahead and buy that because that's not that much more. Oh, I got to purchase this one first. Okay. All right, there we go. Got it. Uh, and then the storage upgrade. We could upgrade three thousand kilograms for thirty-five thousand. That's not bad. Uh, I just don't know how much we're going to put on this boat. So let's go ahead and buy the engine upgrade. And then we'll save some money for the, uh, what is the standard storage on this boat? Uh, let's exit out of this. We're going to see the storage amount. Maybe I need to go back to purchase boat. Is this one still going to be there? The selfie. Uh, max air screen one total, total quota per year is 450,000. Fuel tank, max speed. Um, Max nets, crab pots is eight. Uh, it doesn't say where the capacity is, does it? Engine power, max speed. I don't see it. Anybody else see it? And I'm just missing it here. I think I may be missing it. Buy small pots. Yes. Buy pot bait, buy barrel. Okay, so we want to buy. How much are these? Twelve hundred a piece. Let's go ahead and buy eight, and then. Uh, a hundred. 100 grams per pot. We're buying 3 kilograms of bait. What is this? A barrel. What do these do? I don't know what they do, but I'm buying them all. Alright, we got our crab pots. Our 8 small crab pots on here. We got 8 of these things, whatever that does, and 3 kilograms of bait. So, let's go fishing. Let's go catch some crab. Oh. This thing's got quite the engine on it. Oh, dude, this thing will move. Heck yeah. 30 knots, I think is what it said. I ain't been in one this fast yet. This is going to be fun. <laughs> we can cover some ground in this bad boy. All right, king crab. That's what we're set up for. We're going up here. As soon as we get past this... Uh... Actually, you know what? Let's do it this way. Boom, boom. I hope we got enough fuel. I just thought about that. Oh yeah, this is definitely a hot spot. Okay. Uh, crew members. Oh no, wait a minute. I have to drop the line, I guess. Yeah, I knew you could switch to first person. Uh, gear not within range. Okay. Grab pot. Place pot. Uh... Crab pot still needs to be baited before setting. Okay, where's our bait? 
bait. Okay. Cool. Bait in. Set pot. Got it. Okay. Oh, this is... Yeah, I like this. This is pretty neat. Can't deploy within 50 meters. Okay. Let's check our maps and make sure we're still in the hot spot here. Yeah, we're going to be in the hot spot for a minute. We're okay. How fast are we going? How fast are we setting these at? Five knots? That's probably fine. This is pretty neat, actually. Yeah, jet boat, man. I'm telling you. Dude, could you imagine trying to set 54 pots like this? That would take a minute, wouldn't it? Yeah, we're in good shape here. This is definitely a hot spot. Is there bait in there? Yeah, okay. It won't let you set it until it's baited, I guess. Which is good, because knowing me, I'd forget to bait the stupid thing. I'd throw him overboard. There we go. This is pretty cool. Yeah, I wish I'd have realized this on the other boat. I could have went down and checked everything out. Alright, Mike. Have a good one, buddy. Appreciate you coming and hanging out with us, as always. So I do like the crab fishing part of this. At least the small crab fishing. We'll see when we go to pick everything up how it works out, but... Uh, I just like being out here on the boat. It's pretty cool. What are in these? That's what I want to know. Cool. Those are done. Let's head back in. What is that knife? Log book. That's cool. Oh, I forgot. There's the uh, there's the thing. Can I use that? What's the... I forgot what the key was for it. Manage crew. Oh, look at this. You can manage crew from here. That's cool. Cook us up some food, man. I know your cooking skills are very minimal, but... Uh, I would appreciate it. <laughs> there's the radar. There's our mini-map. Or sonar, I guess. Boats around. That's cool. That's really cool, man. I, I like the way they did this. It looks good. All right, I don't know how this works, so I'm just going to pull up next to it and hopefully... Uh, can we put a crew member? Oh, he's still cooking. Dang, dude. I don't know if Handgut does anything. Like, I don't know how this works because there's nowhere to put him for him to actually do anything. He's at the gutting table. Like, is that actually the sorting table or something? I don't know. I don't know how this works. Tell you, thank you for the 10 bits. Much appreciated. As always, throw some plungers in chat, guys. Okay, do I actually have to get out of the chair now? And go do this? I think I do. All the pot, yes. Oh, dang. Look at that thing. Where do I set it? Place pot. Open pot. Okay. Empty pot to table. Oh, I wish I could bait and reset right here.
Oh, that wasn't a whole lot of crab, was it? Okay, this guy just needs to get out of the way. Just, just go back to... Go back to resting or something. You're not, you're not doing any good there. <laughs> Where's he going? I want to see where he goes. Ah, uh, I knew it. He's going in the outhouse. <laughs> I knew it. Alright, inspect crab. Uh, that's a female. Oh god, what is this? How do I- how do I know? I don't want to say yes. Hey, well, can I put it down? Hmm. Okay, hang on. Uh, nope. Nothing there. Let's just... That's a male. Okay, I got it now. That's a female. That's a male. So it looked like a lot more crab than it actually was, apparently. Or maybe he was already sorting crab and I just I messed him up. Why am I still moving? Why, why am I back on... What? What is going on? It's a crazy thing. Alright, well, we're already this close to the end. Might as well pick him up. Yeah, why did it make me start moving again? Weird. We're down here by pot eight, might as well grab it. Alright, so we got a few crab anyway. Uh I say that. Not sure what is happening with the crab pots here. Oh god, I can't turn. I'm running over the buoy. This boat is way too maneuverable for me. I'm not good with this kind of stuff. This thing's too fast. Let's take it easy. Let's just take it slow here. Gracious. It's going way too fast. I must have bumped it. I must have, yeah. I just get the boat to turn? That'd be nice. Dude, what is this control? Seriously, like... There we go, now. Now then, now we're going straight. Good gracious. This is hard, man. Like, trying to line, line the bigger boat up is fine. This thing is like, you barely touch the gas, it's wide open. Do I have to pick it up from the other side? Oh god. Okay, that's exactly what I did. I bumped it getting out of the chair. You were right. I definitely bumped it getting out of the chair. There we go. Let's push that button first. Oh, it won't let me pick that one up. Why not? Where am I supposed to put this? 
Oh, they went in the tank. I see. Okay. Oh, I had to put those in the tank before I could do anything else. Got it. All the pot. Got it, got it. Okay, now I see. Now I see what's happening. Open the pot. It was 100% full, so that's good. Just not a whole lot of crab up there. Alright, let's start down here. Female. Male. Keeping it. Because I don't know what size they're supposed to be. I don't know if these are juvenile or what, but we're keeping them. Wish we could like slide them down the table, that'd be cool. So you have to put the bucket over there before you can do anything else. I have way too many buckets. Apparently that is the way this works. Okay, next one. This guy's doing nothing, so just grab you a burger, buddy. Now let's try him again. Let's put him down here now, see what happens. <clears throat> see if he sorts crab or not. I don't know what he's going to do, so. He's probably not going to do anything. I don't think they can actually do anything on here, so. Yes, definitely keep your arms and legs inside to ride, please. All the pot. Get him moving around on the table. What are y'all doing over there? You gonna sort, do anything? No, he's not. Okay. See, I can only hold eight pots at a time. I wonder if that means I could set eight, go buy eight more, and just have a constant rotation of pots in the water. That would be kind of neat if I could. 50 king crab. I mean, that's pretty good. 50 is a good number. 50 is a real good number. Uh, I feel like this guy's not doing anything out here, though. Can I shut this? There we go. Yeah, I feel like this guy's just not going to help us out at all. You can just go back to resting, buddy. It's okay. Matter of fact, go back to cooking and get your, uh... Actually, go, go to repair. Do some repairing. When did I learn that? In, uh, Deadliest Catch. So if they have, like, a little V, they're a male. And if they have, like, the solid round part on their belly, they're, they're female. Learn that on Deadliest Catch. I'm going to use this while with the controls. I'm trying not to, man. I'm trying to. I'm going to be pretty reasonable here. All the pot. We caught 50 the last time, so. Which ones are we eating? The males? Yes, we're eating the males. Males that are not juvenile. Yeah, I'll show you in a sec. Let's uh, get these guys emptied out here. Alright, so. Alright, you see how it's got that V on it? Or it looks like the uh, the symbol from 
uh, Borderlands or whatever you want to call it. That's a male. That one's a male. That one's a male. That's a male. That's pretty good. Alright, you see how that one doesn't have the V? That's a female. Yeah, they'd be queen, queen crab. That's right. That one's a female. There's no V there. That's a male. I hope I'm doing this right. I hope this isn't backwards. They should all be the same. They're both king crabs. So. I figure the uh, identifying the gender is probably the same. So, and male. See how many we got? I got way too many barrels on board. Forty-eight. That's not bad. So we're on a pretty good average here, uh, by any standards. Forty-eight king crabs. Pretty decent. Uh, V. There we go. Yeah, we've got uh, 1,079 kilograms of crab. That's pretty good. Oh, wait. Do we have to gut these? I don't understand how the how the gutting works for the crab. I don't think you gut them. Like, do you have to do anything else to them? Maybe not. I don't know. Like, he has nothing to gut. So, I don't think. No, nothing. Yeah. He has nothing to do. Let him rest. Yeah, so it's nice having the smaller boat. Uh, kind of check this out myself for sure. And I am going to find out uh, next time for sure if we can set pots. And then go buy more pots. As a matter of fact, I've got four on here. I may reset these four. Uh, and see if we can go buy four more. 48 crabs last a good 20 minutes. The Yo, dude, yeah, at least. I don't see why not. Alright, I'm going to leave this here for the moment. And we're going to sort these guys. There we go. It's a male. That's a male. I don't know if these are big enough or not. I'm guessing I get paid on how big they are, too. And then we'll take this and pop it back over here. 28. That wasn't a real good pot, but we're going to... Uh, mm, I'm not going to reset right here. We may turn and... Uh, we may turn and set more in that direction because over here is the real hot spot. So we may turn and set a little back uh, north here. We'll set four pots back and go back into town and see if we can buy four more. I think I got control of the boat finally. It took a minute, but getting there. That was still 200 kilograms of crab. That's pretty good. I do. I do. I have bait for him. I bought three kilograms of bait. And it only uses like 11 uh, or three grams of bait. So, or whatever it is, 11 grams of bait, whatever, whatever the number is. Got to make sure not to hit that uh, hit that go button when you're getting out of the chair there. Oh boy, I got laggy. All right, if this is a decent number, we'll drop back down here. I should have reset when we were catching the the 50 numbers, the 40s and 50s. All right, let's start here. That's a good one. Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. So, so far, the female numbers have not been super high, but it looks like these are going to be... Look, like I'm catching mostly females here. Let's see here. 29. Okay. It's not great. It's okay. Last two pots. See this boat down here? Right there. Trying to sneak in on my on my kitchen, I think. Go 
Cool. All this pot, yes. Thank you. I almost feel like we need to go back in with a full a full boat, but thirty-eight. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good number. Yeah, I don't know why they can't leave stuff alone, man. That's beyond me. Good one. Good one. Bad one. Good one. Good. I like the throw in motion. Like I like the I like the way it feels. The crab fishing feels okay on you. Throw them out, you see them splash. They don't make a huge splash. It's a crab, it's not going to. Like I think I think the devs of this did it right. This feels pretty good. Like I've ever been on a crab boat, but still. I've right, got all eight of them back up here. So let's, uh, oh, I got to move this first. Okay. 48 again. You've run out of storage space for king crab. Seriously? Dude, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We filled the boat up. Oh, no, here. Okay. Open. Nope. Here. Bait. Put the bait in. And throw it out. Sweet. Then we're going to turn around and drop four of these. Okay, weird. I think I clicked off the screen. My fault. And then we'll run about that fast. Whatever speed that is, that looks good. Give yourself some working room. Yeah, I'm about to. There's one. And I don't know how fast we're going now, but... 11, 11 knots, so... Yeah, that's fine. Booey off. There we go, do the same again. Yeah, there we go. Now we're getting them separated a little bit. These down here, the first one's pretty far out, which is nice. And then the second, third, and fourth are about the same spacing. These right here look like they're about the same spacing. I'm guessing at it, so but that looks pretty good. That's a that's a pretty big spread there. Could be more if I had more pots, but I don't have more pots, so. A fathom is six feet. Didn't know that. I didn't know the actual measurement of it. That's good to know. It's pretty good. Right about there. Get that one in the water. Yeah, that's that's pretty close. Pretty dang close. Alright, let's get spun around here. Oh god. It's getting bad out here, folks. Don't do it. Turn. Okay, good. Alright, now let's dock up the sail. 318. We made 311,000 off of 300 king crab, off eight pots. Crab fishing is the way to go. Holy crap. Off eight pots we made. And that was just me. Made 311,000. Made 500,000 off of all them nets and running four crew members. That's the way to do it. And that was after paying. Uh, Bucky, his uh, his share is two point three percent, which we don't even need. Uh, and then one female king crab for a thousand. So that's not bad. Port reputation is twenty percent, so that's good. That that increased it by fifty three thousand. So that, that port reputation is huge. That gave us a big percentage boost there. 283 at uh, 3.2 kilograms 
paid the most at 253000 So that's pretty good. Uh, so we had some that were smaller than 2.2, but they still paid us for them. We only had 11, but it was only... Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. That's good numbers. That's real good numbers. All right, now let's see if we can buy... Uh, actually, let's do this first. Move him to the crew house. Uh, I don't need him if he's not going to be doing anything. I've got food on the boat now, so that's good. Yeah, we got lots of new people for hire as well, so that's good. Dock. Uh, upgrades. Pot hauler, I've got it. Fishing quota. I don't see how I ran out of room. This thing holds 10,000. Uh, it may have been in that one bucket I was out of room, maybe. Maybe that's what it was. If we got the first engine upgrade, yes, we did get the first one. Storage upgrade. I think that's what it was. I think we ran out of room in that first, uh... Oh, well, look at that. In that first barrel. Yeah, they hold 1,600 kilograms. So, yeah, we had we had way more crab in that first barrel than anything else. It's a ski boat. This thing is definitely a ski boat. All right, so we can buy eight more pots and go set them, which is nice to know. So, uh, and there we go. We got our eight more pots ready to go. That means we can hit, uh, we can go drop these eight, pick up the next eight, and uh, go from there. But for now, I'm going to save and call it a night there. I appreciate you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for hanging out tonight. I will be back tomorrow, and I don't know why I closed the game. I didn't mean to close it. I meant to leave that up, some music playing or something, but either way, black screen. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow afternoon uh, around 4 p.m. Central Time. Uh, I'm moving. No, I won't either. I won't do the downloads and edits for these. Uh, so Wednesday, uh, or tomorrow night. Yeah, tomorrow night here on Twitch. I'll see you guys then for subsistence. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Later, everybody.